Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at using PowerPoints as background images. This is a great one for all you PowerPoint freaks out there, um, and it's really simple to do. Uh, if you haven't actually got a PowerPoint to use for this demonstration, if you go into the Marvin Media folder, you'll notice that there's actually a Marvin presentation PowerPoint. Um, so uh, you can click on that and use that uh, for this demonstration just to check it out. Okay, let's minimize that. Okay, to do this, what we're going to do is go to the Tools uh, menu and click on the Import PowerPoint Presentation option. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, navigate to your PowerPoint. Um, mine's obviously in the media for this one. And click on it and press Open. Okay. So now that we've actually clicked on the PowerPoint, it's going to ask you to create a new directory. So I'm going to do this on my desktop. Um, and I'm just going to call it PowerPoint or PPT. Okay, this is just a directory where the PowerPoint slides are going to be actually made into JPEGs, so it would actually store them into this PowerPoint uh, directory. So I'm going to press save. Okay, that's processing for me, and we're done. Okay, I'm just going to open my PowerPoint folder. Okay, and you can see in here we've got slide 1 to 21. Okay, so that's our slides in our PowerPoint. Now, just to let you know, it's a bit of a catch-22 here. Okay, you do lose um, your audio and any animations that you have within uh, your PowerPoint. Obviously, being JPEGs, they can't handle that. But what you gain is actually having a character come out on screen and discuss your PowerPoint. So um, it is a great little feature. And if you are creative enough, you'll probably find a way of actually getting the best of both worlds. And uh, we might talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so uh, now that we've got that done, I'm just going to uh, get rid of that. And it's exactly the same as loading in a background image. So I'm going to go to background image. I'm going to browse. Okay, navigate to my folder, which is here. Okay, and here's my backgrounds here. And let's grab this one here. It's a little bit more interesting than the Welcome and the Marvin. Okay, and I'm going to press open. Right, so that brings it down into our preview here. I'm going to go to stretch as discussed in previous tutorials and add the image. All right, so it's in there, but it is full screen at this stage. So once again, uh, going to background size. So if you haven't seen this done before, uh, please go to the background size tutorial and uh, check it out. And I'm going to select my trusty 720 by 576 uh, power DVD size and click change size. Okay, let's just get rid of that there. Okay, so now we've got our background size followed by a background load and it's that slide four from our PowerPoint. Okay, if I just take this away, you can actually see that now. Now, of course, we could bring in a character here, load up more backgrounds where we want them to change, so on and so forth. So this is a great little skill for everyone to get used to. And it means that um, if you do have good PowerPoint skills, uh, you can use those skills within Marvin.